Another day for it? Yes, sir. We got the sleds in the trailer. We just got back to the test facility. I call it a facility. It's just a parking lot with some hills around it. But um, we're gonna do some more testing on the boost. We're gonna build some more speed, build some more horsepower, and uh, feeling good about it. Yeah, so the first couple of runs there, I was actually just on control. With the Ibex Go Tuner control, the way I have it set up is uh, stock. Sport is 10 horse. We'll bump it up to 20 here now. You can run that all on 91 octane as well. just reps and just trying little things different here and there no major no major changes but just small subtle ones in the way that I ride and in the way that I got my suspension set up Take me too long to uh, didn't take me too long to figure out that the backcountry setup was not working on the race course. So we're just uh, backing off all of the spring preload right now. We're going to start from scratch. Um, what I found that I was doing was I was trying to change sled attitude with compression clickers, where I'm actually doing the opposite now. I'm going to take the spring preload out and then try and uh, try and uh, get the sled to handle the way that it needs to on the race course. You want that nice soft initiation, but then you want nice firm bottom up resistance down near the bottom stroke of the shock. So my backcountry setup, I had quite a bit of preload on the springs because I didn't want too much initiation because usually the snow is soft. So uh, pretty much just going back to zero and we'll start all over. Kyle, I don't know any other sport in the world where a competitor works on the other competitor's snowmobile at the risk of getting beat on the hill <laughs> and vice versa, you know? I know. It's kind I of my job every day. I could be making you do all this and then you just go whoop my ass on Sunday. <laughs> it's all for fun. We're all friends. Yeah, we are. 
So we're inside the factory for our race trailer here now. Uh, we're doing some work on the primary clutches. We're going to uh, just take out what I had in that worked in the backcountry and we're going to put in some race stuff. So can't show you what's going in the snowmobile, but it's all 100% race legal and it's going to go fast. You get the shot, Nels? <laughs> did you get the shot? Okay, I did. Sleds are feeling good, I'm feeling good. It's time to go get some more practice. Sounds like uh, the group went over to the practice hill. I think we might start making the move. Get the sleds in the trailer and uh, go maybe get the last couple laps in. Tomorrow's gonna be rest day. Go over the sleds, get parked in Jackson Hole. And Back en route to the practice track. Got our testing done this afternoon. Day two here of uh, Jackson prep. The sun's going down and we're heading up the mountain to the practice course. I do have my practice sled with me. I'm gonna get a couple laps in on the race one and then uh, just ride as much as I can. Just try and get those reps in. Get myself ready for Jackson. We just pulled up to a somewhat sort of undisclosed location. We got a good practice hill going here. Andy and Kyle and the boys have been really working it in. The sun has went down, the snow's tightening up, and uh, we're gonna get some practice in. <laughs> so this lap, I'm just gonna uh, sight lap it and have a look. Sight lap it and have a look. Are you gonna go around and up the down track? Have a look at the course. Andy said it's good and messy, so. He wasn't kidding. Feels good though.
I just came back down and made another suspension change to the rear shock there. The uh, low speed was just too stiff, so I softened it back up, which also in return is gonna give me more rebound. It's gonna be faster rebound, so I'm gonna have to be cautious of that. setup that one feels good it's dark I got no headlight but I got a young Caden radiant behind me we're gonna work our way out of here welcome to mod qualifying day guys it's time to uh, head to riders meeting here same story once again they're gonna tell us the rules of the hill what we're gonna do today kind of the running order what to expect what we can and can't do as riders but uh looking forward to some redemption it was tough yesterday in uh in the vintage finals not getting that sled up and over the top felt like i was on a good pace and uh yeah today's a new day i think that's part of uh being a racer is being able to just wash that stuff to the side and just move on so i'm feeling good feeling uh well rested had a nice sleep last night the uh polaris boost runs really well i got it set up well with those olin shocks Time to go get this meeting out of the way, get into some gear and climb some mountains. Watching the Mod 600 qualifier right now as I get ready. <clears throat> First classes of the day are always the iciest, and uh, I just watched Tanner Thomas run damn near a two minute run. So, uh, gonna be studying this course a lot. It looks like pretty difficult right now. This guy just turned out. Oh, went over the bars. Oh, nice save. Hill's looking icy at the moment. It's snowing out, and uh, I'm going to just try and pay attention to the course as much as I can. Get on that gondola here pretty quick and go start making laps. Perfect. <laughs> like I said, the hill's looking really gnarly. And uh, all the racers are starting to pack in the lineup here. We're here at Jackson Hole at the Snow King Mountain. We've got uh, Riley Sprunger to my left. And uh, Pro 900 Mod is coming up next after this Pro Masters class. And it's going to be rowdy. What do you think makes the, the conditions of this one either different or challenging or what's the scoop with this one it stayed above freezing last night so the hill is soft it's going to blow out it's going to be trench warfare in there i think it's going to be uh it's gonna be tough because there's a layer in there on the rocks that looks like pure ice right now so um you know i think it's just gonna be a matter of how many screws we can get into our track before we gotta go, go run i think i'm damn near maxed out right now so see if we got the traction to go over the top hopefully uh I'm in the second heat of 900 mod, so that means that there's a bunch of fast guys, about 20 of them, that are going to go ahead of me, and hopefully they cut in a nice race line, and and uh, we can get up over the top and get qualified. Yeah. All about how many screws loose you got this time. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, well, my screws are pretty tight right now. I had a good sleep last night, and uh, yeah, I feel good. I mean, I was hauling ass yesterday on the retro, and and uh, just didn't quite make it to the top. But that's racing, and gonna take that uh, that little bit of uh, anger or or defeat and apply it to the throttle side of the snowmobile today, and see if I can't uh, run it fast and run it straight. You can't get first if you first don't. Yeah, you finish. can't. Yeah, you can't get first if you first don't finish. So. We're gonna uh, qualifying is the hardest part here at Jackson, and then on Sunday it's just let it all hang out and whatever happens. So, and then just over there, yeah, just over there yonder, you can see that big bouncy castle with a ramp in front of it. We're gonna go play with that tonight. So, right, busy, busy weekend, man. It all started Thursday with vintage qualifying, Friday vintage finals. Here we are today, Saturday, mod qualifying, freestyle show, and then if all goes well, uh, Sunday finals. Oh yeah. Hot! Hot diggity dog! Let's go! 
Let's hear it, people! Come on! We're You want a radio interview? How'd that go, Turkey? Lifting, dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if I would have lifted, dude, I would have endoed over the finish line. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got a hat? What is that, a player's hat? How'd that go? Dude, it's so good. I forgot how good it feels to get over the top of Jackson. Uh, that hill is no joke. I sent it, dude. <laughs> Give the, the CFR bars the roll test down onto the catwalk at the end. It's all good. Nice high mark. <laughs> Yeah, I thought we were going out. No? <laughs> oh yeah, up and over the top. And you know, when we were standing here on the top catwalk, I'm wondering, is anybody gonna jump the catwalk? I guess so. Yeah, I thought we were going to the top. I got shorthanded yesterday when I burned my slit down there at the last gate. But uh, yeah, you know, it feels really good getting up over the top. I gotta give a big shout out to Polaris, everybody down the pits. My dad, huge shout out to my, uh, my father-in-law, Pat, he's watching. Uh, my whole family back home, all my sponsors, Monster Energy, Olin's, 509, Cheetah, Backwoods, they're making it all happen. I'm just here having fun, man, and uh, by the looks of it, it looks like I might be able to get a go again tomorrow. So, figured uh, a little bit of airtime here at the top, get ready for tonight when I'm down there in the, in the fairground on the ramp. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, Brett is the guy that can do it all. It amazes me watching him over the years the style, the progression, and he's at the top of his game everywhere. And it's awesome to see here at Jackson mixing up with these guys. Yeah, thank you again, and uh, thanks to the Snow Devils, Rimshaw, everybody that uh, gives us this platform to perform. And uh, just stoked to be here, man. I never thought uh, as a little kid coming here to watch that I could stand at the top and have an interview with Nate. All right, thanks, Brent. Good job and good luck, buddy. I got to go do it again. gathered up down there. Thanks, boys. actually drive downhill with those brakes on.
We just wrapped up 900 mod qualifying. I got in fourth place out of 70 my heat. I came back, gave some feedback to the boys here at Factory Flares Racing. They're plugging the sled in. We're going to make some changes. We're going to try and beat that time for open mod. <laughs> Had a pretty cool moment there just before my open mod run actually uh some of the guys restored one of darren gould's original race sleds and uh gave it back to him and uh not only that they're giving him his good race partner rick ward their old snowmobiles they got championships here at jackson with pretty uh pretty epic time here. You good? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's on my foot. Can we get ski brakes? Hold your brake. Hold your brake. Got it. It's in that clutch panel there. We got a ski dug in, so we should be all right. Yeah, it's all good. Then we just take them that way. Okay. Okay, we're probably. We might need to go for food. A little bit. Keep them on the top. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll oh, do it. Oh, sorry. Okay. Grab the skis, pull. Yep. Pull. Oh, one, two. Oh, there it goes. I'm pulling somebody's foot. Spin. One, two, three. Okay. Get on, rider. Got the brake.
that's a wrap on mod qualifying today. I made it in 900 mod. I did not make it in open mod. Well, that's all good. I got one class to focus on tomorrow. Wow. Finals day here at Jackson. It's uh, about 7 a.m. We're just firing the rigs up, getting the trailer going. You can see a little bit of dusting on the snow. Happened last night, it was pouring rain during the freestyle show, but uh, that kind of upper elevation did get a little bit of snow. Not much to really speak of, but uh, looking forward to today. I got 900 mod, one run, leave it all on the line, go have some fun and climb this mountain. into the pits. This will be the last and final trip that I take behind the quad over to the pits for the weekend. This is it, finals day. This is for, for me, this is where I had all the fun all winter long. Now I get to channel some focus into being really gnarly and climbing a stupid mountain. It's not that it's stupid, it's just rocks, stumps, logs, deep ruts, head walls, people, gates. It is the most challenging hill climb in the world. To be able to come here and do that and compete and qualify for a class, that's insane. There was over 40 entries and they only qualified 14 and I was in that group. So pretty honored to be able to say that I get a run here today in finals. Hopefully I can take her to the top. gondola uh, we're going on like the third hour I think maybe of laps got the running order in my hand just watching the classes roll on by uh, watching the course it's been developing and changing almost run for run they've made some gate changes and uh, it's looking like it's gonna groove in and start to get fast so earlier in the day it was looking really tech kind of slower at the top they straightened it out and it looks like guys are gonna start chasing the chasing the time clock so I got another 15, 20 runs before I go in nine mod. Then we'll be down at the course on my snowmobile. Oh! Oh, oh my God! Just total the sled. Oh, stop. Thank you. Who's got? A, somebody grab that 10 millimeter end wrench out of that bag. The what? A 10 millimeter end wrench to hand to hand torque these bolts. Check the bottom cap on that side. Make sure it's not broke. Well, it's 2024. We're back here at Jackson in 900 mod. We got a motor here wrapping up some oil, stuff it under the hood, and uh, do some cooking on my run out. It's either going to be me or one lucky hill help guy that gets a nice hot burger at the top of Jackson this year.
trained by zero composites in the right hand. Family support coming from his wife, Nikki, the kids, and her team, Ezra, Tessa, Hannah, the food mechanics, Dad, Rocky, and Pat. Again, eight times. X Games medalist, three gold, four silver, one bronze. The first snow bike backflip in the world. Seat grab backflip. Conquered that in 2021. Friends are top on the hill. Put on a show for you last night. Qualifying, having some fun huh? here this weekend, but it's all business right now. Wants to get up there and win this world title in nine months. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you know what? I smell it. I'm starting to smell it. I forgot about this, Tim. You know what? I've been waiting for this moment for a long damn time, dude. Sunday, Jackson, hot burger at the top. Are you kidding me? My weekend is over. Not only did I qualify for vintage, I qualified for Mod 9, did a freestyle show, made it to the top on Sunday and finals day. Now it's time to enjoy a nice hot burger fresh off the pipe. <laughs> Beauty. All right, we're up here at the top of Jackson. I just pulled this nice burger out of the pipe. There's another racer coming up right now. I'm going to enjoy the crap out of this one. I earned it this weekend and uh, just so thankful to be at the top.
Mason's all done for me this weekend, but that doesn't mean my weekend's over. I'm about to go down into the crowd, join the Rowdies, and watch some racing. What's your favorite part of the hill climb weekend so far? When you ride. When I ride? <laughs> yep. What about you? When you ride. Oh, you guys got to quit lying to me like that, nope. man. I'm not lying. Oh I appreciate it, boys. Nice meeting you. I just want to. Cheers. What's been the favorite part of the weekend so far? Probably watching you and Blaine go up. Man, everybody keeps saying that. What about you? The freestyle wasn't that cool? I was here. The hill climb I, stuff was cool? This is my first day, but seeing you go up was awesome. <laughs> appreciate it. Yeah, it was like really cool. Vintage mod. Yeah, vintage was pretty dope. Man. Yeah. What's going on? Hi, buddy. <laughs> In 1,000 stock to get big thanks to Skidoo for providing our leaderboard today as we final here at the 47th Annual World Championship. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. we got a Todd Williams in the wild. What's up, Turks? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Chilling. You look beautiful again today. Thanks, buddy. I miss you. I miss you, too. That's why I came to hang on the hill. Hi. Hey buddy. Hi America. Hi. hi. I mean, hi Canada. <laughs> North America, cover it all. North America, South America. All I reckon places. that it's a lot, uh, a lot scarier to come up this thing than it is to look down it. Yeah, I don't know how you guys make it look so easy. It's, it's steep. It's gnarly. Yeah. When you're sitting at the bottom every winter, you're like, you should maybe try Jackson this year. <laughs> then you come up here and you're like, oh, I should just keep the camera in my hand. <laughs> We're up here at uh, just below gate 31. Actually, the gate 31 is the one that I dodged, and then you can see the size of that trench that I fell in. That trench was from yesterday, but these head walls down in here are just absolutely gnarly, like up to six feet deep. Guys are getting stuck and just making monstrous holes. Uh, open mod is going to be really intense. Buddy! <laughs> I want to be in your vlog. Hey! You want to be in the vlog? Yeah! Hey! Yeah! 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 On the American man. <laughs> Give me a flick, dad. Oh, that was a good flip. Oh, that was a sick one. <laughs> Boys, a race going on. <laughs> Jagger!
Steven. You want to know what? It's been really awesome. Uh, I wish I was a little bit less hungover <laughs> than I am, but uh, all morning long, it's carnage. And then we got to nine and people started making it. And it's just been fun watching all the fast times today. Hell yeah. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that kid feel was, but I made it just fine. Yeah, give that mullet a good flick, dude. <laughs> you subscribed or what? Yes, of course I'm subscribed. If you're not subscribed, who's not subscribed? Brad caught. Then you don't know snowmobiling. Yeah, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> I found the rowdy section. Yeah. <laughs> he made it. He made it. He's got a rowdy section. How's your weekend been, Chet? My weekend's been fast. You still have a bit of a voice. I'm yeah. really impressed. Yeah. Well, that's why you got to bring one of these old boys with you. You got to let the people know. Look at the branding. Nice branding. Yeah, you know. I call the sport. Yeah, do what we can out here on the hill, one snowflake at a time. <laughs> Twin pipes, baby! They get people horny! <laughs> Awesome. Hey, cheers, bro. Pleasure meeting you. King runs now. We got the rowdy section over my shoulder. Yeah, something like that. Guys are gonna start going over the top. These guys start going over the top. These guys get rowdy. I love it. We're gonna go over here and check out some of the racers that made it out of the top in King. I think things are gonna start to get pretty interesting here. We started running King of Kings. Justin Thomas has been on an absolute heater all weekend. So looking to see how, uh, how that all plays out for him. Come on, buddy. <laughs> 
Yes! Atta boy, just in! Woo! Holy smokes! Woo! Yes! Way to go, buddy. Woo! That's a wrap here on Jackson Hole 2024. If you look closely in behind me, you'll see where I jumped the road. Technically, I got the high mark here at Jackson 2024. Keith and Justin, good job in King of Kings. We'll see you guys in the next video.